How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how to upgrade the RAM on your Lenovo ThinkPad. This is the L14 Gen 1. It's an extremely simple process of just taking off the bottom case popping out the old RAM or just adding RAM to the new slot. And by the end of this video, I'm confident that you're going to know how to do this. We're going with two sticks of crucial 16 gigabytes of RAM, giving us a total of 32 gigabytes. Link to the compatible parts are in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and let's get into the tutorial. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to make sure your laptop is indeed turned off. And then you're going to close the top, turn the computer over. On the side of the laptop here, there is a SIM card tray. And you're gonna to need to take a pin or a paper clip. And you're going to press in on that hole. That should eject that SIM card tray. Then you can get it around your fingernail and pull the SIM card tray out like that. And then you're gonna take a small Phillips head electronic screwdriver. A single one or a double zero or triple zero bit from a kit is going to work perfectly fine. And then you're going to remove the nine screws here on the bottom case by turning them counterclockwise. The screws don't actually come all the way out. There is a little retention clip on the bottom of the case as I'll show you in a second. But after you get them backed out all the way, you're gonna take a small prying tool like a plastic pick or a spudger and you're gonna work your way in between the bottom case and the top case and you're just going to run it along the side. You will hear some clips, some plastic unclipping. We're just gonna work our way around with our prying tool. Once you get enough lift, you should be able to work the bottom case off. If you feel resistance at any of the screws, make sure that you backed it out all the way before continuing. There is retaining clips on all of the screws, which makes it really nice. You're not gonna lose any screws during this project. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is remove the power from the laptop via the battery connector to make sure we don't accidentally short anything out. There's a little piece of tape handle connected to the battery connector right here. You're going to grab that and pull it in that direction. And that removes all of the power from the laptop, making it safer to work on. Hiding under these two protective flaps are our two RAM channels. In order to remove a RAM stick, you're gonna pull outwards on these two little arms that's going to release the RAM and you're going to pull it out just like that. The easiest thing to do would be to leave this RAM where it's at, add another eight gigabytes of 3200 megahertz DDR4 RAM. Link to that compatible RAM will be in the description. However, we're going to be removing this RAM and upgrading it to 32 gigabytes with two 16 gigabyte sticks. You match the notch into the slot on the computer, push it in, at an angle and then press the RAM down. And then you're gonna do that to this side as well. This can take a maximum of 64 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. So if you really wanna go crazy, you could do 32, 32. It's just gonna be more costly and plug your battery back in. Now we're going to reinstall the bottom case, line everything up and then press it down around all of the edges and it will satisfyingly click into place. And then you're going to tighten all nine screws. After the bottom case is back on, you can slide that SIM card tray in. The little notch is going to be going towards the ethernet port. And as you can see, that was not very difficult to do on this laptop. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments section. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you found value in this video, consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any tech videos or wanna see any specific tutorials, throw them in the comments section and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.